Uh, good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying uh, this exciting event and uh, such a nice place here. Uh, I'm so sorry that uh, actually uh, I have a sore throat today. So uh, probably sometimes it's hard to listen, but it would be uh, my pleasure if you could enjoy uh, my speech. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, my name is Yuji Yokoyama from Adways. Uh, I'm a senior manager of uh, mobile marketing in Southeast Asia. Nice to meet you. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about the mobile marketing in Southeast Asia and <coughs> focusing on the uh, hottest marketing and promotion menu in Vietnam, Indonesia, and Thailand. I will also talk about uh, tips for overseas developers on how to localize and culturalize for Southeast Asia. So first of all, uh, let me introduce our company and business. Adways is a mobile performance marketing company based in Tokyo. Uh, we established in 2001 and went IPO in 2006. Now we have more than uh, 1,000 employees work, uh, working in these 12 countries. Our main business is uh, smartphone marketing uh, with our own ad network and third party tracking too. And we also work as an agency. So here are some of uh, our services. And our main focus is uh, mobile and Asia. We have offices in Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam, where we are supporting local app developers and publishers uh, promoting their app in the regions. Now I'm going to talk about the local marketing tips in these three countries. So as you already know, uh, the mobile app market in Southeast Asia uh, keeps growing, and the growth is going so fast. The graph shows the growth rate of uh, total mobile app sales from 2011 to 2015 in each country. Uh, we can say that uh, many mobile app developers have interested in a uh, Southeast Asian market. Fortunately, uh, we are getting many inquiries about the mobile app campaigns for Southeast Asia now. Uh, so thank you so much. And uh, this is how you acquire mobile users in Southeast Asia. Before we release an app, uh, run the pre-launch campaign for getting highly motivated and quality users. After launch app, uh, it is uh, typical and common to boost the app ranking uh, to drive awareness and get quality users, get uh, organic users. Besides, uh, we use some ad networks and medias, uh, for example, Facebook, uh, to get suite and uh, quality users. This is a major story of uh, online marketing for new mobile apps. Uh, moreover, I'd like to introduce to you uh, three keys for Southeast Asian campaign. Uh, the first, of one, uh, first one is social media marketing. The second one is about major local communication tool and messaging app. The last one is local marketing. For the first key, social media marketing, here is the usage data of uh, major social media in the three countries. Almost one in two persons is using social media. <clears throat> there are about 150 million active users and mostly accessed by mobile device. As you know, the smartphone usage is uh, increasing uh, explosively. It means the presence of social media will be bigger and bigger. So now, utilize, utilize social media for mobile app campaign is a big key. Uh, Southeast Asia is now the second biggest country, uh, biggest region of the social media use in the world. Again, people in Southeast Asia uh, really like to use social media. And here is the uh, ranking of popular social media and the uh, messaging app. Uh, needless to say, uh, Facebook is number one, and uh, Facebook family apps are also there. Uh, 
I believe uh, almost 100% of app developers already know and use the Facebook ads. And uh, it comes the first choice for their uh, app marketing. And they and you guys uh, already know the install volume and the user quality from Facebook ad is excellent. So uh, I, I don't have anything to say uh, more than this for this part. But uh, I'd like to introduce a way of how to maximize uh, social media marketing. It's the social media influencer marketing. Uh, as described with its name, uh, use social media celebrities who has uh, many followers. Uh, this does work well, and it, it's uh, very effective in Southeast Asia. Ask, ask them to post comments with their own words and uh, photo or video. Then the post will be shared with the lots of uh, followers and it will be create a great effect of word of mouth. So the reputation of the app will spread to the people in the social, net social platform. Here is a sample, uh, samples of the uh, influencer's post. Uh, basically, there are two types of the post per influencer. Post one is about the short introduction and the belief of the app. Uh, it simply drives the number of install. The post two is about the specific enough function. It is for making better retention of app users. For video posting, the influencer uh, creates the video by themselves. But whatever they post, of course, uh, we get uh, client confirmation in advance. Uh, this is a case study of uh, social media marketing with uh, influencers. The app is a published title uh, of a question app. Compared with the similar scale on the targeting campaign, the eCPI decreased and the performance like uh, tutorial completion rate or ROI <clears throat> went up by almost 200 to 300% than the campaign without the influencers. So uh, this result indicates how this influencer campaign is effective and uh, efficient. To summarize, uh, influencer campaign is a variable option for mobile app campaign because of the great efficiency and the effectiveness. And it's going to be easier to spread the reputation of the app with influencer's premium post. As a result, it can bring my, uh, many active users and high quality users. So that's uh, uh, social media uh, influencer marketing. And uh, from here, I'd like to talk about the second key, about the local communication tool. As I mentioned, uh, Facebook is huge and the most popular platform for daily mobile use. However, there are another heavy use service in each country. I think uh, this is uh, also important. Uh, you should be aware of and utilize it for your app campaign. In Indonesia, BlackBerry Messenger is uh, very popular as the most active app. One in every two Indonesian people is using BlackBerry Messenger. Originally, BlackBerry used to be very famous as, uh, for its smart devices in Indonesia. So people had uh, a connection to this app through BlackBerry. After other kinds of smartphones like iPhone or Android became popular in Indonesia, <clears throat> people have shifted to use uh, these uh, kinds of new devices. However, this Messenger app survived as it is available for iOS and Android. Therefore, people keep using this app because it's easy to keep the connection and the contact info of the users uh, originally had in BlackBerry device. So now this app is, uh, has uh, evolved for adapting to new devices and the new usage, new use scene. Now, uh, BBM had uh, out service, and the other ways is an 
uh, official agency uh, of a BBM ad. We can run campaign with uh, in-app ad space uh, like this, uh, like a uh, timeline. They have uh, some types of formats and pricing models. We can buy ad format, uh, we can buy the ad menu of BBM ad and can also create the channels uh, in BBM for building our online community. Here is a case study of a BBM ad. Uh, this campaign is for the casino game app. We ran this campaign in six months. <clears throat> and uh, BBM really, uh, delivered uh, over 60,000 installs. And as a result, uh, the daily average install was uh, increased by 6,000%. Then the uh, grossing rank raised uh, 50 ranks, and the uh, monthly enough revenue was uh, 10 times increased. Also, the retention rate was improved. So uh, this campaign could be a long-term campaign because of the good performance. Here is uh, another case study of uh, e-commerce app. BBM ad delivered over 5,000 installs in two weeks. As a result, the daily average install was increased as the 300%. Then uh, could get lower uses, and uh, the daily transaction was also increased as the 150%. So uh, BBM also has another kind of uh, user demographic, which matches uh, e-commerce app. The user base has the diversity and can target suitable users by their targeting function. Uh, therefore, the most of our clients keep using BBM ad. And uh, in Thailand, uh, Line is uh, popular as the most active chat app. Now, these are, uh, there are 33 million registered users, and it's about 70% of the mobile users. Thailand is the second biggest country, uh, followed by Japan, in worldwide user base of LINE. LINE also has their own ad service for mobile apps called uh, LINE Point Ads. Now it's available in uh, eight countries in, in Asia. There is the offer page, which you can find app install campaign in LINE Point feature. Users can get reward points by installing the uh, campaign app or viewing campaign videos. By CPI campaign, the potential install volume for the first day is the 100,000 installs in Thailand. So uh, this is uh, efficient for boost uh, ranking on Google Play. The video ad menu is also efficient for branding and expanding the user reach. Here is a case study of uh, line point CPI. The first one is the case of strategy game app. Uh, the app size is quite big, uh, but got uh, 100,000 installs in the first day. And uh, finally, got the top one on new free ranking on Google Play. The case two uh, <clears throat> is of um, action game. Uh, in this case, also got the top one on new free ranking uh, with the rest install number. So uh, always have more success experiences of boost ranking with line point CPI. This is one of the way of uh, up campaign in Thailand. And uh, in Vietnam, uh, it is Zaro. You cannot miss. Uh, this app is born in Vietnam. A uh, Vietnam-based company, uh, BNZ Corporation, released this app. Now it has uh, 30 million users, and it's covering about 75% of mobile users. Young people like this app and using uh, it uh, aggressively. Almost 80% users are 18 to 25 years old. This is the biggest volume range of uh, population in Vietnam. So uh, this, uh, this local-based app has a big presence in Vietnam now. 
Uh, to summarize, uh, communication too is an effective way to reach a great number of local mobile users. Uh, anyway, uh, you should be aware of the most strong player in each country. And they have uh, evolved in unique way in each country's circumstance. Utilizing uh, these apps is all also important, and uh, they could be efficient for building strong engagement with local people. The last key is the uh, local marketing. Uh, that uh, includes the offline and the local traditional ad channels. Offline ad works well with the online ad, also in Southeast Asia. There are lots of other spaces of transportation, like bus or train. We can also use other space of uh, station and uh, terminals. It can have uh, many contact with many people at one time. Convenience stores are also an efficient channel because it can show your content to people in daily life. And the TV commercial or magazines have huge impact for attracting your content. Traditional channels still have a huge power. So uh, offline menu is easy to understand for people and the, in the scale of reach and contact is very huge. And it could be do a mass scale campaign with a cheaper cost uh, than East Asia. The combination of online and offline might be more efficient. The localization of content is also important. This happens every time for every game aiming to go into another overseas market. I think this is uh, needless to say also. But uh, localization is not only for the language part. Uh, otherwise, recommend to test with uh, local circumstances, like by local device, by local uh, infrastructure, and by local people. So pre-launch test is useful for driving the app business at the beginning. And it would be helpful for reduce the extra localization resource after the app launch. Uh, need to understand the local circumstance and uh, find good local partners who can actualize the right content for each market. Then uh, mix and use local channels and resources for marketing. Southeast Asia has a big potential of business and challenging market. However, uh, Southeast Asia should not be considered as one region, but there are many differences and unique points in each country. By utilizing the power of sharing and the word of mouth is one of the big key. There are some options of uh, local channels. It might be helpful for driving campaign performance. So uh, let's grab the point uh, to win the heart of users and uh, cooperate with uh, reliable uh, local partners. At very last, uh, we have a partnership with uh, Questrop, who is an expert of uh, publishing and localizing uh, for Southeast Asia. Uh, based on this partnership, uh, we will be able to provide a one-stop solution from localizing to the marketing. Okay, uh, that's, all for all the, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for coming and listening to my speech. Uh, Otherwise, has our local member with uh, deep local knowledge for local, local marketing. Whatever support you need for Southeast Asia, Otherwise is here for you. If you have interested in more details about what I talked here, uh, please uh, come by our booth number 308. Uh, it would be always our pleasure to help your business in Southeast Asia. Thank you.